Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, today is another topic or another issue uh, which we will try to resolve through again through the Power Query. So very simple, we have a customer name and we want to identify the first name, the middle name and the last name. So you can say that what is the big deal on this, right? So just click on this column and uh, go to the home tab, split column. You can say I will do a split column directly, sorry not group by split column by delimiter and I will give a space and I will give the each occurrence of the this one and I will just place the OK here. It's fine but here the problem is there is a certain confusion here okay. So which is my middle name which is my start name if you see this this guy wrote, there is there is actually no uh, middle name. So this will come as a last name as a uh, the last name for this guy. Whereas this is this guy, this is correct somehow, it's okay. But there is a uh, hodgepodge in the sense there is just some confusion is there, which is the middle name, which is the uh, last name in this case, right? So, and you need to identify manually in this case. So, this is not a good approach. So, what is the good approach would be? So, the approach would be let's go to the add column and instead of doing the split, extract, okay? So, first I will extract text before delimiter. So, I will give the text before delimiter the space. Sorry, I will give a space here. So, this will be my first name for everybody. Okay, this is my first name. Now, I will select the customer name. I will click on the extract and text after delimiter. So, the after delimiter is something like part of the last space we have, no? That one I need it. So, I need a space, but from the advanced option, this is a very good option. I will not start from the input, but I will start from the end of the input. From the end side, I will find out and whichever the first space it will come up, that is my last name only, right? So, it will, for the donor, it will go from here and whenever it falls the first space, it will give the donor. That's it. This is my, let me rename this, okay? This is my first name and this is my last okay now I want to just extract the middle so middle is between in between the space okay so let's go to the extract and text between delimiters now this time so anyway this will be space in the space okay so if you put okay we are getting something but if you observe it is giving me the last time itself here also the good day so it is like whenever uh, the text between delimiter we are putting it now it is taking that between the space and in this case it is founding one space only but after that there is no space so he is thinking that okay this is the data only and he is printing here as a last time here and this is this this is this is different case in this case it is working fine but this is the problem here right so for this guy the lab will be no last name but here we need to put a conditional column to identify the middle name so, if you see this, whenever you are defining the text between delimiters, uh, in between delimiters, so if you observe one pattern, the pattern is the last name and the, la the text between delimiters are same. Whereas, whereas there is actual middle name is there for the person, these two are different. Okay, this qualifies for a conditional column. So, uh, to identify a middle name, let's go to the conditional column here in this case. Okay, so what I will do? I will say middle name is my column. What I will say, I will say last name, last name does not equals to, whenever it is not equals to, select a column and the text between delimiter, wherever it is not equal, not equal like Daniel and O, it is not required, then print text between delimiters only, the whatever the value we have in this column. Else, print the last name. Right. That's it. Okay. Now we got the middle name. I can delete this straight over this column. And I can move this in between here. So this is my middle name and this is my sorry I don't need this also. Sorry. Uh, no need to remove anything. One second, let me check the conditional things. 
what it is saying that whenever the last name is not equals to the text within delimiter, then print the oh, okay. So here there should be a change. So wherever it is yeah, this is correct only. In this case it is not equal, it should print text between delimiters only. Oh, okay. So I, I have just bit confused. Okay, so what it will do the condition is you need to say last name equals to this one. Whenever there is a equal, right? I need to print actually nothing. Okay, I need to print null. Okay, whereas if it is not equal, I need to print the text between delimiters. This is will be my condition. Okay, then it will work out. Yes, this is correct now. Okay, so now I can delete this text between delimiter here. Remove. Okay, and this will be my middle name. See, so for this guy, uh, the middle name is null, last name is there. For this guy, there is a middle name. Whenever there is a middle name, it will be getting null here. And where is the others are like that only. Got it? So this is my conditional column. Wherever last time equals to text then we will print the null otherwise keep the that one this is the condition I need to put it okay so this is the one way this is a very uh, real time way okay we can get the first name last name and uh, the middle name from a customer or any employee names okay hope you like this video please 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 subscribe the videos subscribe the channel and watch and share it across your friends for more interesting content like this okay and you know that daily we are getting the updates of the videos on different streams so i have a playlist called power bi power query uh, there is power bi starting learning and then there is the dax use cases also almost every playlist is getting updated within two days or three days so please support this motive and thank you and have a nice day Bye.